Good morning, everyone. We are continuing here in the words of the Chavetz Chaim in the Sefer Mitzvah Zakatzar, and we are in Mitzvah Ayin Dalit 74, which is the positive commandment of Shiluach HaKen of sending away the mother bird. And we mentioned in the last class that we need to have some kind of a, a, a reasoning, some kind of an intent that the Torah must have had for such an unusual mitzvah. We don't find such things. Where you find a mother bird who is roosting on her nest, and you take the mother bird and you send her away from the nest, and then you take either the eggs, so you can make yourself an omelet in the morning, or you actually take the birds and you take them. So if you would like to eat them, you eat them. So why would the Torah ask us to do something that seems to be, in actuality, a, a cruel act, where you're ridding the mother in order to take her children, so she comes back and the mother is no, and the ch- and the children are and the eggs are no longer there. So the Ramban actually says that it's it's the opposite. The fact that the Torah tells you to remove the mother before you take the eggs is actually an act of Rahman is an act of compassion. Who are the who are the eggs for? Who are the birds for? HaKadosh Baruch made the entire universe for the sake of mankind. Mankind is the last in creation. The stage is set. The whole world is around him. And man comes on into the world. And HaKadosh Baruch says, berasi, Everything I created, I created for you. I created everything for you that we should have the ultimate pleasure and the ultimate fulfillment and satisfaction out of this world. So we should have the strength to be able to serve our Kodesh Baruch the way that we need to. Everything in this world is for us. That is why we are allowed to take an animal and shech the animal. You can ritually slaughter an animal in order to eat it. I, it seems not to be very nice. You might call it Sar Chaim. You are inflicting pain into the animal. But as we pointed out in several mitzvahs ago, when you are inflicting the pain in the the animal for your own purposes, which you are allowed to derive benefit from the animal kingdom, that's why HaKadosh Baruch Hu put them here. So therefore that overrides the prohibition of Tzar Ba'al Echayim, and it's not considered that you are inflicting pain. On the other hand, you're doing what is necessary in order to be able to bring that food to you. So Tzar Ba'al Echayim is when you intentionally or even unintentionally, go and you hurt an animal with no benefit, but when there's a benefit to that which you are doing, so your own personal benefit overrides that that the animal will go through. The same thing is looked at over here. You have a, you have a mother bird, and the mother bird is roosting on her nest, and she has, again, either eggs or she has little chickens, little, little birdies that are there. And you have a mitzvah to remove the eggs, and you can use the eggs for your own fulfillment, for your own satisfaction. You can take the birds that are there, and you can shech them, and you can use them for your own satisfaction. You're allowed to. HaKadosh Baruch Hu gave us the world. It's at our disposal. So what would, be the, what would be one approach to doing this? While the mother is there on the nest, so you push her away while she's still there, and you grab the eggs, and you run for yourself. What kind of a pain, what kind of an anguish, what kind of a cruelty is there in such a thing that a person would actually do that to another, to a, a bird, to another living creature in front of their very own eyes, cause them such pain like that? Can't do such a thing. So the Torah says, we want to eradicate cruelty from you and we want to fill you up with rachmanis, with compassion. And therefore, the eggs, it's for you. The chickens are for you. It says, Baruch Hu, everything I created in my world is bishlucha, it's for you. It's not for the bird kingdom. It's not for the continuation of the species. It's so that mankind should have what they want and what they need to be able to be strong and healthy and to live. But you can't do it in a cruel way. So take the mother bird and shoo her away. Let her fly away from the nest. So that when in fact you will take those eggs, when in fact you will take those birds, the mother is not there to see you take away what belongs there. It's true. When she comes back, she might not be a very happy mother. That's true. But the bird 
in the bird kingdom, in the animal kingdom, it's not expected that they're going to live forever with their chickens or they're going to live forever with their eggs. We live in a world in which the, the chickens are born and the eggs are laid for the sake of providing man with what he needs. And therefore, even though that she might come back and she might cry over the fact that the eggs are no longer there, but that's going to happen any way that her children are going to move on and any way that the eggs are not going to be there, they'll be taken by somebody else to eat. So when we're going to do it, it has to be done in, a, in the most compassionate way possible and that is take the mother bird, shoo her away, make sure she is not there when you take it. Have Rachmanis on the feelings and the emotions of the mother she shouldn't witness you take away her young, rather take them for yourself, and the mother will come back. Yes, she might, she will be, she will be saddened, but she will, she will move on from that. She will lay more eggs, she will have more children, and you will have just inculcated into yourself a act, a seemingly small act, but in the Shemaim in the heavens and in the, in the who you are as a person, in your spiritual makeup, it adds so much to the Rahman, to the compassion that a Jew is supposed to have. Have a wonderful day.